put me on the spot with that one. That's an I easy think Louisville answer. would have a better shot if their baseball coach was in charge. <laughs> like the train now. Coach C was just talking to us about the, the recruiting class, top 15 recruiting class. You just signed some, some really good looking pitching prospects. Can you tell us about the rest of that class and who you're excited about? Well, it's a group of guys uh, that have a tremendous work ethic. That's one of the things that has stood out to me here in the first three weeks that we've been back in school. We've been doing a lot of conditioning, weight training, some skill work, individual skill instruction. Uh, it's a group that's very serious about showing up every day and working very, very hard. Uh, so, uh, you know, there's a number of guys, and, you know, it's, it's always hard to go down that list in your mind. Um, but Kier, few Meredith. Of them, few of them drafted, right? Yeah, yeah, a few guys drafted, and Kier, Meredith, uh, Sam Weatherly, Spencer Strider on the pitching end. Uh, Weatherly has a chance, I think a legitimate chance to be a two-way player. Uh, really swings the bat well. He's got a nice left-handed swing. He's got some speed has the ability to play all three outfield positions and maybe even some first base. Along with, he's, he's left-handed and, and pitches in the low 90s from the left side. Just an unbelievable athlete. Uh, Spencer Strider's got a really good arm. He has been up into the mid-90s. Uh, Kier Meredith, speedster, left-handed bat. Uh, can really, really run. You know, one of the top five fastest players in last year's draft class. So, um, you know, just a young man that, that has some tools and has a, a really nice skill set, you know, along with uh, a Matt Cooper, a young man out of Virginia, catcher, outfielder, make could play some first, has some versatility. Drew Donathan, another young catcher, uh, came in with this class. Uh, so, um, you know, there's a lot of guys uh, that, that came in with this group, Bryce Teodosio, Bryce Bowen, um, you know, Elijah Henderson, uh, Sam Hall. Uh, Holt Jones. I mean, there's 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 a lot of names to go through, but the one thing that I will say, just on the position player end, is the one thing that's impressed me was how many guys can play uh, multiple positions. And it was one thing that was a big stress, uh, a, a a big point of emphasis for us in recruiting is we've got to be able to bring in guys that have versatility, that can catch and throw the baseball at a high level, that can run, and that can play multiple spots. And quite a few of these guys can do that. So, uh, you know, the, the the key though is we got to develop them. You know, we've got a very very young group. You know, working with the outfielders the other day, we had one outfielder out there. Uh, you know, who was an older player. Everybody else was a freshman. So, uh, but that being said, you know, those guys can really go get to baseball. I mean, there's some guys that can cover some serious ground. And, you know, looking at the, you know, the freshman infielders along with the junior college, we've got two junior college transfers and Justin Hawkins uh, and Sheldon Reed. Sheldon's been banged up, hadn't been able to do a whole lot. But Hawkins, you know, was a junior college shortstop. Um, has been working out at third, has worked out some at first. He's got serious power potential. Uh, so it's been fun just to watch the guys. I mean, you know, just any time you go into a fall where you've got this many first-year players, um, it's exciting. It's exciting because you know you've got the challenge of a coach of really implementing, you know, your philosophy with them and and uh, trying to get the most out of them. But we got a lot of work to do because, you know, there's not, not a tremendous amount of experience when you look at – the personnel that we lost off of last year's team. But, you know, so far the only thing those guys can control is how hard they work, and they have worked extremely hard up to this point. We're excited to be playing against each other and start competing. I think that's that's the, you know, the critical part of the fall is who's going to show you that they can compete between the lines, and that's what I'm looking forward to seeing the most. Seth says he's lost 15 pounds, wants to be more athletic, and really wants to find a home at first. Yeah. Well, you know, Seth, you know, it, was, it, was, it was something that we talked about um, you know, over at, at the end of the year and, you know, just kind of looking at goals moving into next year and things that he wanted to put an emphasis on in the summer. And, uh, you know, one thing that was, um, you know, a, a big a big deal to Seth, Seth, you know, A, wanted to become uh, more athletic, uh, more agile in the field of play. Uh, so, you know, he dedicated himself. It's a testament to him and his work ethic. Uh, you know, he dedicated himself, tried to get his body in a little better shape. So he's leaner, he's moving better. Um, he's going to work out at first base. We'll probably put him out in left field some. Again, just as an overall coaching philosophy, I think it's important that guys play multiple positions. So uh, we're going to work him primarily at first base defensively in our drill segment of practice every day uh, and in our inner squads, but he will play some left field as well. Uh, so, uh, but he is definitely leaner. He's moving better. He's made some adjustments, even with his swing. Uh, so, uh, but he looks really good right now. With a young pitching staff and 
needing to protect Seth a little bit, how important was it to get Samurai back? And well, you know, our best recruit was Chris Williams. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt about it. He was our best signee in this class. Just uh, and you know, just so excited to have Chris back. I know that. Uh, you know he, uh, you know, had an opportunity 